at 11.38 a.m. on January 28, 1986. It's go time. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. But little did the crew or mission control know, there is a major problem. At liftoff, a puff of gray smoke spews from the booster. Then, at 58 seconds after liftoff, at the same location, a flame becomes visible, indicating the fuel is making its way through the booster. Challenger, go at throttle up. Challenger, go at throttle up. 73 seconds after liftoff, at an altitude of 46,000 feet, the over 500,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen and oxygen from the main tank suddenly explode. Flight throttle, go ahead. RSO reports vehicle exploded. The crew compartment is ejected and ascends to an altitude of 65,000 feet before free falling into the Atlantic Ocean. On the ground and around the world, shock as millions of viewers witness the catastrophe in real time. Mission Control knows it's too late. The crew compartment hit the ocean at over 200 miles per hour. Without parachutes, there was no chance of survival. All seven astronauts are gone. Salvage crews spent several weeks recovering pieces of the Challenger and carefully bringing up the remains of the seven astronauts. In the end, the entire failure can be traced to the O-rings, rubber seals between the joints on the solid rocket booster 